All right, I'm making this video to uh, point out a correlation that I've found with people um, with numb hands um, and tinnitus. This is a study that was published back in March of 2015 in the Journal, Journal of Neurophysiology. And uh, what it did is it looked at uh, stimulating uh, the nerves uh, with 2 to 10 kilohertz and they were able to uh, get complete nerve block in the peripheral nervous system. And there are some other papers that go that were mentioned that go back to 1902. So this has been known for quite a while. And what they did in this paper, I think they were trying to uh, replace anesthesia. I encourage you to look at it. Um, now, I'm going to show you Excuse me. So uh, I'm going to show you what these CFL light bulbs do to your electric field, the electric field that you're absorbing. I've got a, an oscilloscope over here, Blue 215C, I'm using also a microsurge meter from Stetsrizer, and a Fluke 43B power quality analyzer. They're all plugged into this power strip. So we're going to measure what this bulb produces for frequencies or dirty electricity. And as you can see, it ramped up quite a bit. There's a lot of activity going there uh, on the Stetsurizer microsurge meter. We're up over 1200 GS units. Um, the Fluke 43B, which is a staple in the, the utility industry for power quality, um, doesn't go up into the 10 kilohertz range. In fact, it only goes up to 3 kilohertz. So, according to this scope, uh, there is really no dirty electricity being made here. Um, this is what the waveform looks like, and this is what it should look like. So, these are very, very, uh, very powerful. Now, just to show you what an incandescent light bulb does. Just a regular old plain old fashioned light bulb. We'll plug that in. Doesn't do anything. Nothing. We're at uh, 20 GS units and it's solid. You know, there's not really a whole lot of difference. No frequencies being produced. So this is a safe light bulb. The next I'm going to look at uh, an LED brand that I found to be uh, pretty safe actually. Um, it's the 500. It's the it's the BP AG 500 uh, DM. And as you can see, it's it's similar to the incandescent light bulb. The waveform's pretty clean. No frequencies that I can really you know see showed up. But we're still right around 1920 GS units. So um, be careful though. There is. Um, make sure that you get the 800 or the 500 because the 800 series is dirty, as you can see. Got some frequency up over 10 kilohertz, and that's what it did to the uh, waveform. We're up over 250 GS units, so not a great bulb to use. Uh, now, say you have a neighbor that is using these CFL light bulbs, that that frequency or produced by these light bulbs will bleed over because you share a transformer. So we're going to plug that into the unit there. I've been using Stetsurizer filters. I've also been putting whole house filters on homes, and um, it does quite a quite a job. These Stetsurizer filters. They, short a lot of that frequency off. It didn't completely clean it up, but you know, we don't see much in that dangerous range there, that 10 kilohertz range. I'll take that out. And uh, so anyway, don't miss out on the, uh, the benefits from these. There is a money back guarantee on them. I don't represent Stetsurizer, um, but I'm glad they're out there. Uh, I've really seen a lot of people benefit from these filters. Um, another thing, you know, people will say, well, they produce high magnetic fields. They do if there's a wiring error. 
but it's really not the Stetsurizer's fault. It's the wiring error, <laughs> you know? So make sure that you get that checked out by a, by a professional. Well, I hope this video helped you. And uh, don't forget to uh, look up the study, Blocking Central Pathways in the Primate Motor System Using High Frequency Sinusoidal Current. And uh, anyway, hope this helps. Have a great day.